Let's go! Semi-final number one. Best of three between Happy and Hawk for the... What was the stats? I just looked them up. It is like 35 and 2. So for the 37th time, Hawk. I haven't seen games of his in quite some time. So I wonder what's the shape? And can he finally defeat Happy? Or let's start with, can he take a map off of Happy again? As of course, Happy is the reigning ESL Cup champion after defeating Blade 3-0 last time in the Grand Final. Did Hawk come up with some new solutions in the meantime? Hawk was playing one base tier 3 rifles for the longest time and against a lot of undeads that seemed to be working out really well. Against Happy after a certain time, not anymore. Hawk went back to playing fast expansion mostly, but not exclusively. Hawk still from my most recent knowledge, is uh, mixing up that playstyle. What's it gonna be here this time? AM to start things off. Some humans play MK first against Undead rarely. Hawk, not so much. Perhaps on Terranus, but we're going to see that map most certainly. That is banned by Happy. Our maps are Northern Isles, Concealed, and LR, if we should get there. That is indeed... The question, will we have a three mapper here or will Happy make quick process with Hawk once again? Usually the first map is always the most uh, competitive by Hawk in maps two or in the second map or in the best of five in maps two and three. He's falling off quite a bit as if he's losing all hope. Haven't seen Happy on a European server in a week as he's not allowed to play good game.ru tournaments anymore. And back to Warcraft Cup, either because his elo is too high. So let's see what he's up to. He played a best of nine against Mr. Winner, right? And played pretty much every single hero there is. Yep. Won't happen here. Nope. Shouldn't be expecting a Cryptod first over here. <laughs> Acolyte trying to get some last hit, but Hawk plays around it well. Finds the Gloves of Haste. Well, those are at least better than the ring. Stacking up damage on the AM early against the DK Harass can be a big help. Footy also coming in for a bit of Harass, trying to put damage on this Death Knight early. I like that. Every point of damage here does actually matter. Also slows down the DKs, creeping by a little bit. The min-maxing is really developed to the fullest in this matchup nowadays. Claws for Happy. That is the perfect drop for him. Fast tech coming in also by the Undead. And a Fiend quickly to try to harass as best as possible, but the timing to harass the expansion is not going to be quick enough to see any of the lasses as Hawk already starts the camp now, and the DK is far, far away. He was looking at the green camp a little bit and then decided to do the expansion right away. Kept track on Happy, who focuses on the Murloc. <laughs> is it a crystal ball? Oh boy. Yep. What? Come on, dude. This was a really good opening. That's how desperate people are against Happy. I must say I'm getting kind of disappointed with this aspect of Hawk's play. Yeah. the hell is up with chat? Hmm. Yeah, uh, I agree. Last week already versus Blade in the semi-final. And... That's rough. That's real rough. Um... He seems to be going into this match already mentally defeated. Yeah. Like having a good early game without peasant losses, with a safe expansion, with footy surviving, without damage on your economy, isn't that so much more important than finding, for example, a pennant of energy at the first camp? I think it is. The DK found zero kills. DK still wasn't level two. Yeah. All peasants, footies, 
survived. All creeps were secured for Hawk. He could have gone to the green after to go to level three or at least get close. And I think GG's we don't have to the crystal ball. Yeah, I think we don't have to argue about this too much, right? It just makes no sense. Um, this is just his personal opinion on things. Maybe he listened to me a little too much when I said you need claws to beat happy. This is really disappointing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it is, and it it leaves a bad taste yes. in the mouth. It's like, yes. is this now what this uh, what our cup devolves to? You have to have good items, otherwise there's no chance, anyways. I certainly don't agree with that. Well, you are not uh, thirty six and two, or thirty five and two, every single week. For a long time. Well, everyone is getting owned by Happy, though. Everyone. And only Hawk is reacting this way. That's the counterpoint. But okay, I guess it's his choice. I imagine most of us don't like the way he handles this, but that's the way he does it. And yeah, it's his prerogative, I suppose. Okay, let's see if the items are better this time. I mean, Hawk did this against Blade as well, right? So it's not only versus Happy. Um. Ah, yeah, on Terna stand, yes. that MK mirror. Yes. Yeah. Feels like the Crystal Ball. Okay, Claws of Attack. We're gonna have a game here. God, By the way, guys, uh, we have a stream delay here, so uh, it is possible to get information on the result earlier. But please don't spoil in chat. Otherwise, we're going to have to time you guys out. And uh, I don't think we want that. So please, no spoilers. Yes. So last refuge it is. Claws ready, happy. Oh, Hawk triggers the Murlocs. So this camp becomes quite a bit harder right away. Yep, this is something that a lot of humans have started to do. The High Priest still goes to Happy, and he didn't take too, too much damage. But he can't go for the follow-up trolls too easily. And I think this is basically the reason why Hawk is choosing this map as the counterpick. He got Claws, hopefully he's satisfied with those. Gauntlet's also not too bad, I guess. And Happy now is going to try to pull in the Rock Golem camp to make this expansion as difficult as possible. But DK only has a single coil left. We'll need to get this Ogre Magi kill to make it to level 2. And Happy, as I said, one of the best to get these last hits. Still in. Still one coil. Militia comes in as well. Ogre Magi has Bloodlust, so puts in quite some damage. Coil thrown. Did he? I don't think he got it. No. No. Hawk played around it nicely. Oh man, this is really awkward. Look how the Merc camp is standing there, though. Does Ooh. retreat now. <laughs> Threatening. Okay. Not Super a... solid early by Hawk again. Super crisp. Good thing he didn't find the ring, otherwise he would have GG'd again. <laughs> what was the item? Ah, Rock Golem. Oh, wait. How's this Rock Golem here? Dude, he could trap him, maybe. Not reacting to it, taking care of the skeleton looks, first. It looks scary when the Rock Golem comes in, but the number of attacks they're actually putting out... It's like nothing. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the Town Hall! No way. Why are these creeps attacking Town Halls and expansions all of a sudden? The skeletons uh, keep on re-triggering the aggro and then attack the building, and that's how you can transfer aggro oftentimes. Does it once more. <laughs> Level 3, though, already for the AM. Yeah, that was a lot of skeletons. Not willing Please to block. Thank you, Wedgic Full, for the prime sub. Well, peasants stopped the power build here for a little while. That was kind of weird. The expansion is coming up. With a delay, yes, but Expo finishes. Tower was not cancelled. Tier 2 for Happy. Finished. Lich coming. There is a Slaughterhouse that could be getting cancelled over here, but Hawk is not diving too deep just yet. 
Now this stage of the game, very rare to see a European human diving. Lich arrives in the second, he's gonna lose a lot of footmen then without really getting value off of it. Hawk is attacking really fast after this expo. Yeah, putting in all this damage before Aura is very valuable. Very hard to recover health here. Lich comes in now with the Nova. This should end up in a few footy kills, but good control here by Hawk. We'll eat that Nova now. Oh, denied? Yes. Denied the footy. No experience for Happy. Ooh. Great game by Hawk so far. I agree. Mana potion even. That delays the tier 3 by a tiny bit. Can he get a fiend kill? That would be so big. He's committing these footmen now. Oh, what's the connect? His card is ready. Draining the entire mana potion. He dies? For his die for it? Yes, that's fine. It's a potion and a fiend. And it's still at level 2. Then the deny. It's still at level 2. You need a decent number of footies, though. Once four fiends show up with statues, you need to have footmen. That's something you can easily lose, easily lose track of. Yeah, killing fiends is nice, but there's always going to be a certain number of fiends. And when the push towards your expo comes, you need to have footies healthy and normally also with defense to hold on. He has five. Early, early blacksmith by Hawk. Is he going for the Maz rifles? Mm -hmm. Tier 2 defense, Chemico style? Uh, we'll see. He has early defend. Tower number one up. Five footmen still remaining. Let's see if he goes for more. By the way, guys, the minimap is on purpose on black because the color is green. And if it's not, you can't see shit. So I choose army movement over terrain because we all know the terrain. So, yeah, it's on purpose. A bit more creeping by Happy. This should be time for Hawk to now creep the Merc Camp. It's gonna be close to level 4 AM then. Obviously, a mercenary support also. Quick tier 3 by Hawk. No rifles. MK second, obviously. Why the fast blacksmith? Maybe just had the resources. I don't know. Lionhorn. Nice to have. Yeah, very good. So far away from level 3. Best item there, in my opinion. Statue coming. Mountain King halfway done. And only a Sanctum so far. No second drags. No workshop or anything. Here they come now. Sanctum and workshop in the works. Lumber still looking okay for Hawk. Pretty low on the towers, by the way. Destroyer bust could absolutely be a thing. However, destroyer bust is still somewhat far away. Hawk getting ready for a split push attack into the main. What items they happy get? Big healing Again. and the other one he already sold. Staff this time, no TP. Big potion, the level 2.6. Mountain King a little far away. Ooh, that's a big Nova. Wants, really wants to stat you bad, but won't get it. I think this is a mistake here by Hawk to engage with these footies. These footies are all gonna die. These footies matter in the defense when the under tier three comes knocking. Yeah. That's... I like the first it... one, don't like the second one. Three footies going down. It's only footies, yes, but it does make a difference. It does by time. Double workshop. Very early flat cannons. And breakers. All right. Destroyer form. A little less than halfway through. Early level 4 AM. That's always really nice. So much region for the MK, for the AM himself, and for the Pally, which is going to be coming in very soon. Tier 3 is done. Hawk is rich. Tier 3. Well, now it's done. And now Hawk needs to fire from all cylinders. Instantly yeah. going into production. Because Happy this is, is coming. One of the best looking Hawk games versus Happy in a while. I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> You're Captain Jinx recently. Mountain King level 2. 
Archmage level 4. That's lots of mana, but here comes pit, uh, Happy with his patented Pit Lord push. Alright, it's gonna be the MK's job now to hang around the expansion and cancel the Reign of Fire with the Stormbolt. There's only two towers. Needs to stay in range for the Stormbolt. Not happy. Not using Reign of Fire yet. Just the Fiends against the towers. And that's enough. Just the Fiends. The base build, the SimCity, not the best to protect these towers here. Lich gets a coil, there's so much mana on this DK. No big mana potion this time, Happy finds them a lot. Tower cancelled, only one remaining, but that's flood gates open for the Pit Lord. Stoneball on the Lich, another coil comes in, there's a few coils left still. And Hawk engages without the parry, without the militia. This defense looking, looking a little uh, discombobulated. These titles, man. No value at all. Yeah, lots of gyros here lost pretty much for free. They're all supposed to come at the same time. Militia, Pally, Knights, Gyros, everything. But that wasn't quite timed perfectly. Hawk supply is rising, though. Can he build like one distraction tank? Is that even enough? I don't think so. There's a staff anyway, or was at least. Ah, sold it again. Can he finally get some kills? These knights need to get something done. Happy's out of mana now. And with knights and breakers, he's doing some real good damage to the fiends and forced them back. Yeah, it's all about the mana. MK or DK, who runs out of mana first? It seems to be the, uh, the death knight. That level 2 aura on the AM makes such a big difference. And here comes the Militia wave again. That's going to force back Happy's numbers. Stormbolt ready in a second. That's a kill. Finally a Fiend taken out. Gyros once again dive deep though. And they can be sniped easily. But Hawk is still mining off of two bases. And the human has a lot of production. Oh yeah, Happy 46. Surround on the Lich actually. There's a potion. There's two big potions. Happy shouldn't lose him. He's focusing the Mountain King. Is that a trait that's working? Apparently not. TP force. He still got the kill somehow. No. Holy Light was ready. Hawk holds! But we need some reparations here at this expansion. Otherwise, Happy is just coming back at it. But it's dangerous to go in now for Happy. He's low mana on the DK. He took quite some damage there. And Hawk can just aggressively creep now. And if his expansion is in danger, he still has the TP to get back. This is... Not trying not to jinx. A pretty good position for Hawk. If you take a step back, creeping up. Four, three... Three, maybe? Oh, no, not really possible. Happy counter. Shouldn't Hawk have gone to the red camp right away? He had so many breakers, he would have stolen all the buffs. Coming back in. Oh, these fiends taking a lot of damage. First one sniped instantly with a Stormbolt. MK a lot of mana. Once again, thanks to that Replenish and the Aura. Level 2 now even for the Paladin. He's going for the Aura himself with the Divine Shield. Uh, with the... What's it called? Devotion Aura. So much more armor now on everything. And Happy's losing more and more army. Hawk with a big supply link. What can Happy do? Fight in his base, retreat into his base, but there's more and more Stormbolts going for the DK. He has no TP anymore, just a big potion. Is there a way to fight out? Yes, the Pit Lord blocks the way. More damage on the Destroyers, both at 50%. Limited, very limited healing. Statue falls, Hawk retreats. A few Gyros die on the way back. That's and fine, Gyros are required now. This is a lot of Destroyers. Hawk should take a step back, creep up a little bit more, and go for mass gyros. He has the double workshop after all, so that production shouldn't be too hard to get in. Now he goes for the red camp. Big experience, big item here. And with the breakers, easy to creep. That's level 3, possibly. Paladin's still far away. Could send the Archmage away. Level 4 is oh, all he needs. Uh-oh, yeah, risky. Ogalot's still alive. Happy comes in. Gyros, though! Hoo, hoo, hoo. First destroyer ripped out of the air, but they are in the middle of the of the rain of fire and long range Stormbolt. We have the Cloak of Flames and big damage from this Mountain King. Second destroyer rip. Third destroyer rip. Looks like Hawk has critical mass. Only waiting for the mana for the Stormbolt to find more and more kills. Happy down to 41 supply. MK still on the chase. Pally close to three. 
AM, close to five. This is looking great for Hawk. Four, four heroes unhappy. Is there a hero kill possible? Frost armor on it, but look at the damage. Oh my god, these knights. 16 armor. By the way, last second staff. Paladin falls in the base. Uh oh, it's the Mountain King next to fall. TP transferred. It was a little bit gritty, but saves him to the main. Is that Paladin kill the one opening happy needs? Still a lot of way to do for happy to turn anything. The big ogre is gone. Hawks it on two bases. One, two upgrades on gyros. Zero, two on knights. Hero levels are good. And the paladin is back from the tavern. I like the buyback on the pally. Just creep him up, get him to three. But yeah, not going divine shield. That is a risk. Staff. Just a split second too late, I guess. Didn't quite save him. But oh, that's the next ogre lord. Surround. Oh, does have it against the ledge. Yeah, he does this more and more, and also earlier and earlier, I feel, on the right-hand side at least. Would have cunning, decent, I guess. He never repaired the town hall. I wonder if that will become a factor. Another thing to consider here, we are on LR, which means Expo and Main pretty much mine out at the same time. So I think the best play now for Hawk would to be to establish a third base up here on the high ground. 2,700 gold remaining. A little bit faster here. Next defense upgrade. Almost I like up these armor upgrades a lot. As long as the knights remain alive, they do have really good damage against the fiends. And pretty much the fourth upgrade with the devotion aura indeed. Which... I think it may be smarter to go Divine Shield because, like, it's it seems like it's a mistake to go for knights any, in the first place for Happy, so perhaps just try to protect your heroes. But I guess he wants all the armor he can get. So Happy is pushing. Looks like a bit of a desperate push. He's way down in supply, but the Pally isn't quite back yet. Once again, Hawk engages early with his Paladin missing. But damn, look at how tanky these knights are. Yeah. The gyros all dead supply, distract the fiend, so it's a tiny little drop of damage. Ghouls are into this fight again, perfect counter to breakers, but they don't really reach the breakers, the knights take care of them. DK low again, has to be very careful, it's only an invo potion for 7 seconds. Lich has nothing but the coils and the, the shop is still up. Fiends are falling slowly but steady, knights are taken out, but how much EHP does one knight have at this point? a weird position here for Hawk. Once again, he's aiming for the hero kills. Now there's no coil anymore. Hit. The Pit Lord in deep trouble. Invul transfer last second. Happy's starting to close the supply. There's another Stormbolt. It's 2-1. What's he gonna land it on? Hero focus? As there is no coil anymore? Bitch. Stuck in the corner. Focus. Nuked. Dead. That must be the 1-1. One -one. Happy does not give it up yet, though. Still has the fiends, still has the other two heroes to fight with, but man, these fiends die fast when they're getting focused. And without the minus armor of the Orb of Corruption, how to kill knights at all? So sorcerers are coming in as he sees, all right, there's no destroyer anymore. I can cast whatever I want, you're not dispelling. Paladin down to one third, but still all right. Also, he's so tanky. Fiends disappearing, 67 supply. Gyros have landmines. Pitlord is about to fall. There's another Stormbolt hammer to the big head. And that's the second hero falling for Happy as well. But the Lich is back. From the tavern, no mana, low HP, but still has the orb. Still respectable right click. The Fiends also hurt. Knights are chasing forward. Water Elemental, super strong. Happy taps out. GG. And finally, Hawk gets a map win again. Hawk is taking a map indeed. Not bad after the free win that was game one. I know, sounds like a broken record, but he finds the claws and he takes the game from there. And I like that he was aggressive with the few footmen he had early, with the 4-5. You criticized it a little. Um, I, the second one, I'm definitely with you. There was a little too much maybe the first one. Really good. Also, he keeps Happy busy on his side of the map. He buys time for his expansion. He doesn't have to repair all the time. He doesn't have to rebuild Footman all the time. That wasn't really the time, but that like, bought him time for more. It was cool. And a little bit of a new approach yeah. from Hawk. Next map, CH. 
Hawk stole the defense there by Hawk. Never allowed DK to creep up to or to steal his way with coils to level two. That footy harass towards the Murlocs looking really good. This this early game makes such a big difference. These levels early on, such an impactful factor. And yeah, this might make LR the best human map nowadays after the vetoes. Concealed is going to be very different. DK's yes. level progress earlier, a lot easier to come by. Level two, almost impossible to prevent. Plus, fountains to fall back to when the harass makes the undead suffer a lot of damage. This will definitely be a harder expansion map for Hawk. Perhaps a reason for him to go away from that strat and go back into one base rifle. At one point, he was really good at that. But then he moved away from it for quite some time. What was Blade strategies again that looked unusual but really good? Was what did he play last Sunday? It was always a Mountain King opening, right? And then into heavy breakers. You mean MK first? Didn't he play MK first? No, did he? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty happy that you don't remember it either. I think he just played standard. No, no, no. He, he played very heavy on breakers early. And I'm pretty sure he played break. Let me look that up. Liquipedia yeah. boys entered this. Looking at the moment. But Liquipedia is slow. Okay, I got it. it. It was MK, MK I did. with Blood did Mage. First? Oh, the brain. Oh, the I don't brain. even remember. Yeah. Uh, Mountain King pretty much not an option here. I saw TH doing it here before, but TH is TH. Moon has also been able to pull off a Warden here recently. But it's a hard map for level-hungry heroes who normally rely on Merc support. Because there is no Mercs, and the expansion is very tough to creep, even with Water Elementals at your side. How likely is Tanks now? How possible is Tanks here? Very, very, very unlikely. I think Hawk just counts the seconds until he's tier three, and then he's like, go, go, knights, 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 gyros, 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 gyros. Just survive. That seems like Hawk's mindset. And that worked out really well on map two. Tier three was fast. Pally came in pretty quick. So, off we go. Okay. Is this Hawk's birthday present? to Foggy, or will it be happy again in the final, as any given Sunday? Let's go decide this. That would be the biggest upset in the history of ESL Cups. Hawk has been waiting for this day for a long time. Is it finally happening? I think this is the first time he took a map since WCR Cup 5, which is I think two months ago, two and a half, three months maybe. Yeah. This would be so anticlimactic if he finds Ring Crystal Ball and then he just taps out. <laughs> Don't jinx it, Remo! Okay, you didn't jinx it on, on Last Refuge, so let's hope for the best that it's not happening here either. The altar is pointing left, by the way. Alright, Chad, what's he saying? Staff hero died in the base, I think is what he's saying. Yeah. You have seen this kaktak yesterday as well, right? I think that's kind of an insult or something. <laughs> Chat, help us out. In three minutes, we're going to have the answer. Is he... Playing green creep into expo, hoping that the DK won't be fast enough to harass that? That's interesting. Hmm. Normally creep route for the human as always. Creep the ogre first, send the militia back, creep the green with the water elemental second, the second water elemental. Get level two, call the militia again, creep the natural, expand. But Hawk seems seems to be 
Switching up the creep round. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Green first. Okay, happy sees it nonetheless with the scouting and sometimes killing and stealing Acolyte. This time, too late for the big one. Gauntlet's decent hawk. What's his footman usage here? Nothing so far. But only a tiny bit of damage on the DK. Would have liked to see him commit more. So the Acolyte sees what's going on. Happy knows, okay, that's a weird creep route. That most likely means a faster expo timing than normal. Hawk stays in the game despite this not being mental of intelligence. That's very good. That's the first the thumbs up for the human. And Happy is making his way over. Two charges for of necromancy, three coils. Hawk expands on CH. All right. If the DK steals two last hits here from the creeps, it's going to be very tough for the AM to get to level three quickly. He does get to level two. DK already damaged. Hawk should be attacking this DK, shouldn't he? He's leaving him completely bit, alone. I guess. One worker dead. Still three coils. This should be an easy overseer for Happy. And he gets it. Bring up regen for Hawk. Could be a quick game. Uh, I must say, this didn't look like the best defense against this DK. Still one more coil here. Another one ready in a few. Happy falls back, but only for a little bit. That's quite a few peasants going down over here. <sighs> now, level not having the yellow camp under his belt makes reaching level 3 really difficult for the IM. The idea was go for green into Expo, hoping that the expansion is faster and the DK won't be there to punish, but he was. Two more Alex skeletons. Staff play. Yeah, he will sell it, or does he? Yeah, he sold it right away just to get home, grab the rod, and attack again. I think no one really does it but him. A player's forces are under attack. So. Second attack. Not focusing on level 3, just going for all out kills. Raise your skeletons, happy. Tower can Oh, surrounding the DK. Nice play. If only he would have the staff still left. And that's the TP out. Nice timing. Right when the Fiend arrived. I mean, the staff would have been on cooldown, right? So, still would have been a TP first. So, how expensive is this lumber wise? How late is Hawk's tech gonna be? He goes for the lumber mill now. Also, looks like the peasants are harvesting lumber on the wrong side in the main, by the way. Oh yeah, that's going to be a late tech. Ooh, tier 3 for Happy can be starting any moment now. Whee. And he's coming at it again. Just knife between his teeth and off we go. Let's kill more workers. Let's delay this even further. And Hog, I guess he wasn't expecting another run in from Happy. He wasn't scouting for this. He wasn't defending against this. That's a lot of peasants going down. And level 3 Archmage now, finally. So another was elemental soon, but these skeletons, man, they're just too powerful against the workers at this stage of the game when there's no tower. Safine's around. Oh, close. Horse head is not big enough to block. Hawk's tech starts now. Oh, Happy's tech isn't started yet. Now he does. All right, Hawk stabilizing, but this was a fairly painful. Oh, and he left the replenishment on the ground. DK says, thank you very much. Forces are under attack. It's almost level three now. DK ran north with 160 experience. Now he has 500. That was a lot of kills. A lot, lot of kills. In the early game, by the way, Hawk was complaining about the, the Paladin death after the staff, which apparently happens against Happy uh, only. So that was their little exchange. Hawk finally tagged Happy, ruthless aggression. Lich is coming in, ready with the Nova. It's going to be a few more peasants going down. 
Footman number's pretty low. Only five. Really not that many. Good movement on the footies. Oh, gets a surround on the fiend there. Could perhaps be a kill. The uh, tower. Almost finishing the Nova hit hard. Not too much repair anymore. That's level three. Can he finish this tower? It's going to be so big against these skeletons. And it finally finishes. Hawk's footman are attacked. Also hurt. Hurt daytime. Fiends hurt indeed, but no final blow to them. Footman too slow. Archmage not too much damage. Hawk needs to shop very badly. He's, He's making one now. If he's taken two third, Hawk kind of the same. No blacksmith this time. There he puts it down. The first statue has arrived as well. Whoo! No defend yet. Malakola comes in. The statue from the back with the double heal duty doing a good job. Even water elementals getting surrounded. Experience for happy. Oh wow, footy surround almost. Shop is up. Needs to retreat now though. Putting falls here and tier three is done. Backpack, destroy upgrade, fiend, attack upgrades. No pit lord though. Maybe the fiend picks him up on this way. Makes a pit stop at the tavern. Hawk needs his MK. How much longer? About 30 seconds. Watch Element is trying to buy the time until then. Region Scroll is still running in the back. No mana though. Hawk at 900 gold. No lumber. Did invest now quite a bit into the castle tech, into towers, into MK. Not that easy to hold. Still no pit lord. Fiend attack. is not stopping at the tavern. He's not bringing the orb. Happy only 300 gold as well. Hawk floating. A thousand now. EK oh, for the snowballs around. He has no TP. Can the, the oh. big MK block as he can. He's throwing coils oh. everywhere. Needs to be... Okay, he can't really connect. That could have been, that could have been a big win. He's donating two footmen to it, but that's the DK almost out of mana now. How many kills can he get with Stormbolts? Level two lit. Pit Lord coming. Now there's an orb. And Hawk has like barely anything. He has lots of gold, but no units. MK might be falling. Heal pot last second, but still too much damage. Orb, right clicks. MK dies to the coil and the AI might be following heal pot for him also Hawk is trying everything here but he's holding on with barely anything at all GG today is not the day today is another day where Dimitri Kostin is in an ESL Cup final as pretty much always as always when he plays just when he's traveling around the world other people have a shot Will it be a rematch of last week when it was Happy versus Blade? Or will Foggy challenge him again? As pretty much every time when Foggy is playing. It's gonna be a crazy good semi-final. The best European Night Elf against the best European human. They're clashing right now after a little break.